The phase uh, two study is of a drug called Algen Mimanticel L. It is a whole cell allogeneic vaccine, which means it's a cell that does not come from the patient, but is an off-the-shelf cell line that we engineer and grow. The technology is based on a carbohydrate difference between humans and other animals. There's a carbohydrate that the human immune system recognizes as a danger signal and attacks it with pre-existing antibodies. So all of us already have high levels of pre-existing antibodies against this carbohydrate. The technology, what it does, is genetically engineers that carbohydrate into human cancer cells to trigger these pre-existing immune responses that exist in humans, all of us already, to educate the body against pancreatic cancer. The phase two trial that we've conducted is in 69 patients at more than 10 institutions across the United States, and we've now followed those patients for three years. Typically at three years, you would expect somewhere in the order of 16 to 18 percent of pancreatic cancer patients to be alive. The data that we're showing on Monday shows that 39 percent of those patients are alive and all of those patients have been followed for more than three years. And of the ones that are alive, two-thirds of them, 26%, have no recurrence of disease at all. So that data really became the basis for um, the phase three trial that we're conducting. That launched in May of 2010, and uh, will complete enrollment of the patients uh, during this year and the next few months. And uh, the first readout of that data is going to happen soon as well, we believe. It's under a special protocol system with the FDA. There's a first look, a second look, and a final look at the data. Um, and so that's sort of a subject for the future in terms of those results. But the phase two result became the basis of the FDA giving us fast track status and um, orphan drug status and a special protocol assessment, which is basically an agreement with the FDA for pre-specified endpoints in your phase three trial.